We would like to show you the mechanism of merge sort through this Java applet. Uh, to give the credit to the original author, this applet is from Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur in India. First we define the size, actually first I click on the start, and it gives me some basic information that squares in the red would be the unsorted portions of the array or subsequences. Blue will show the sorted subsequences and Cheyenne would be whatever is in process at that time. So we click on continue and first we give the size of the array. Uh, maximum can be 12 so I put the 12 there. It's going to create a random number and I click on next. So let's create the random numbers. First it's going to divide the array into half. So we've got the first half. Then you divide that one into three each. Then you divide this one into two and one. Okay. And now finally you're left with one each. Okay. Now we start to m we click on next and now we start to compare and merge them in the sorted order. So 0 goes here, 55 goes there. We have the 59 left that is a single element. So that's already sorted. So if I click on next we would be merging these three. So 0 is going to go here. 55 will go here. And 59 will go there. Then we subdivide this problem and we break down 74 and 43 and then each one individually 74 and 43 and now we look at them and see in what order they could be merged and the 43 goes here 74 goes there <clears throat> 62 is alone. <laughs> Easy to take care of that. And now we'll be merging these subarrays. So we compare 43 and 62. So 43 goes there. 62 goes there. 74 goes there. Next will be issue of merging these. So we click on next, compare the two subarrays between 0 and 43. 0 is small, so 0 goes there. Between these two, 43 is small, so 43 goes there. Between these two, 55 is small, so 55 has got to go there. 59 goes there. And now we just copy the rest of the subarray. So we got the first half sorted. Now we do the same thing with the second half. And we divide that half into halves. Divide this one into two and one. Divide this one into one each. <coughs> now we compare them. And now we merge those two. So 13 is smaller. So 13 goes here. 24 goes there. And now we do this one, which is 35, which is by itself. So we don't have to do anything. We conquer it now. And 
Now we can merge these two sorted subarrays. So 13 is smaller than 35, so 13 will go there. 24 is smaller than 35, 24 goes there. And we just copy 35 there. Now we break down this one. Break down 8, 8 and 12. Break down this into one each, 88 and 12. <coughs> now we'll be merging these two. So 12 is goes there because 12 is smaller. 88 goes there. Now we work with 59, which is a single array, single element. And now we merge these. So compare 12 and 59, so 12 goes there. 59 smaller, 59 goes there. And left over 88 goes there. And now we merge these two in the correct order. 12 is smaller, so 12 goes there. 13 is smaller, so 13 goes there. 24 is smaller, so 24 goes there. 35 is smaller, so 35 goes there. And now we just copy the 59 and 88. And finally, our task is <coughs> to merge these two. 0 is smaller, so 0 goes there. 12 is smaller, so 12 goes there. 13 is smaller, so 13 goes there. 24 is smaller, so 24 goes there. 35 is smaller, so 35 goes there. 43 is smaller, so 43 goes there. 55 is smaller, so 55 goes there. Now these are equal, so we just copy one. 59 is smaller, so 59 goes there. 62 is smaller, so 60 goes there. 2 goes there. 74 is smaller, so 74 goes there. 88 is smaller, so 88 goes here, and. Now we got the array sorted. Okay, that's kind of mechanism of merge sort. <coughs> there are two functions. The recursion is taking place when you are when we are calling the merge sort recursively, and then the merging is done after that. Rest of the details we can see through the code walkthrough and other implements that we have available to ourselves. Thank you.